So back in March, the Department of Veteran Affairs launched a large expansion of health care. And today we are joined by Todd Sledge, the Public Affairs Officer for the Cincinnati VA Medical Center. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. Thanks for the opportunity. All right. So we're talking about an expansion. And I know so many veterans talk about health care. A lot of them not so happy about health care, right? Yep. So yep. what does the expansion mean? Well, the expansion means uh, a lot of the old restrictions on the enrollment of veterans getting into health care. Maybe they made too much income. Maybe their service time wasn't warranted for their service. All of that is now gone. So anybody that served after 9-11 or in Vietnam, we want them to call our eligibility office, talk to an eligibility specialist and get enrolled, especially around the toxic exposures of everything that they've been involved with. That's, that's, the, big, that's the big emphasis from the PACT Act. Well, tell me more about that. So the PACT Act uh, went into effect in 2000 and, or 2022, but here recently in March, of 2024, that those laws expanded. So, mm -hmm. you know, if you were exposed to any air pollutants, chemicals, uh, warfare agents, occupational hazards, all of that now makes you eligible for VA health care, and you need to be applying for compensation benefits related to that because now the 31 presumptive conditions that were before maybe not recognized are now all recognized and it's not the burden of proof on the veteran to prove that any longer. Is that right? Yeah. I know there's a lot of veterans in Vietnam. They talk to me all the time about Agent Orange. Absolutely. And there's a lot of 9-11s with all of the stuff that they inhaled. Yep, absolutely. So what do they do now? Very simply, what they want to do is start first two things and they want to do them simultaneously, not, not, one, not separate. Call, el call our eligibility office at 513-475-6499. Okay. That gets them enrolled into VA healthcare and starts that process. Or also they want to go to any other county veteran service commission, Hamilton County, Claremont County, Butler County, Warren County, talk to a service officer, talk about the PACT Act, file a claim, and let those processes started for the benefits they've earned. What about if these veterans don't know whether or not they were, but those were the, you know, they've yep. been in service, they've been overseas or whatever, but they don't know if they were exposed to it. Well, that's the, that's the other great thing. When they come into our VA healthcare system, mm -hmm. uh, currently right now we have done 31,000 toxic exposure screens. That's a requirement for that's the crazy. next five years where they'll be exposed. There's no blood work. Uh, no x-rays. It's just all kind of a question and answer kind of part to see those kinds of things because you think about like diesel fuel. If you worked on aircraft carriers, you were, you were breathing this stuff all the time. So those are what our screenings or our po folks are doing and we'll help them with those questions. Fantastic. Uh, all that information was just up on the screen. We'll also put this on our Fox 19 website and also What's your website real quick? Uh, Cincinnati.va.gov, or you can find all of our information on Facebook as well. Good stuff. Yeah, thanks Good a stuff. lot. All right.